Hey, Pastor Tim here, coming at you from Pioneer Square Union Gospel Mission. We're excited because we've got the fall coat drive um, happening right now to culminate at the Christmas coat lunch in December. And man, you got to bring out your coats, your gloves, your socks. We're going to be serving a lot of people in our community, in our city. And the real deal with that is that we just want to build relationships, we want to build bridges, we want to point people to Jesus, but we also want to meet real, tangible needs. And I want to introduce you guys, my friend Guy. Guy, good to have you, man. Yeah, Thanks for coming out. Sir. And um, Guy uh, came out to our Christmas coat lunch last year and want to uh, just maybe have you share a little bit of uh, your experience in that and maybe just, man, some cool things have been happening um, in your life since that time. So maybe you could share a little bit. Yes. Um, last year at this time, I was, uh, I was out there getting high and I used to travel from Pioneer Square to Belltown. And that would be the areas where I get high well. I was outside getting high, exactly, right across the street from the church, Mars Hill, and I saw them giving out coats. And I went across the street to get me a coat. And when I went in, I was greeted by some people, wonderful people. And I got a coat, and then they uh, escorted me over to the table. We had a nice meal, and we sat there at the table with a group of people who introduced themselves, told us a little bit about themselves. And I told them a little bit about myself. And then that was, uh, that was it. I wound up leaving him after having a great dinner. Um, since that time, uh, for the last year, I've continued getting high. And like three months ago, uh, the Holy Spirit convicted me in Yakima Jail. And that's where I found the Lord. And I started trying to figure out who the Lord was and having a relationship with him. And this, two weeks ago, um, I actually went back to Mars Hill Church, but it was something different this time. I went back there and I got baptized, and that was awesome. And, you know, yeah, that's incredible, man. Yeah, that was great. A year, almost a year after the coat lunch that you came. Almost with. exactly a year, almost exactly after the, the coat drive. Yes. Wow, man. Yes. And so, tell me about that experience of just giving, you know, identifying with Jesus through baptism. I mean, it was, uh, it was awesome. I just, um, I started getting visions and. Having the Lord talk to me, being able to identify as Him talking to me, and um, and just um, just having a conscious contact with Him, mm -hmm. you know, and, and a relationship. Because when I came into the cold drive, I was like up for seven days, same clothes for a week. I had on a T-shirt this time last year, uh, shoes stinking, just rained out, yeah. and I was able to get blessed by. The people that donated coats that year, you know, and they helped me. Yeah. So, just having my life turned around in this way, and being able to recognize where I came from and where I'm at, you know, I really is really a blessing. Well, dude, God praise is good. Praise God, man. That's yes. just incredible to see, and it's awesome having you a part of the community, man. And looking yes. forward to see what God's going to do in your life um, in the future, man. As you're part of the community down there, man. We're super excited to see that. So. Thank Thanks so for coming much. out, man, and excited to see what's going to happen this year as we continue to build relationships. It's an ongoing thing, but we do want you to bring your coats, your gloves, your socks down, and uh, we're looking forward to uh, to this year and continuing years. Um, not just a one-time thing. This is the, this is going to continue to happen um, throughout the course of the year as we uh, we continue to build relationships and bridges here in downtown Seattle. See you later.